What's going on YouTube? It's Jim YG7. We're back for another video. Guys, this man it is cold. It's so cold. I'm not even working today and today's Friday. And due to icy weathers on the road, black ice on the road, we're not working. Plus the mills and uh, lumber mills and steel mills, they're closed due to the weather. And a lot of employees can't go to work. Anyhow, look at my truck. Look at that. All iced up. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, chuck I just fell off. My headlight was so iced up. Yeah, it's gone now. Okay. It's getting a little better. Still got ice, it's melting. Okay. All over here is all iced up. See that? All ice. Look at that. All iced up. Look, even my fender wheel got iced up. Okay. Up here, all iced up. Okay. My windshield is the got defrosted. Anyhow, I just want to show you what's up. Okay. Over here was ice too, but it got melted. There's only a little bit left over there. But uh yeah. Not working today. Anyhow, due to bad weather situations and things like that, you might need something that you might uh, jumpstart your car, charge your car, and this is a car, a pro, kind of a car related product review anyways. So we'll do some product review for you guys. Bam. Okay. So we got the NoCo brand, NoCo Boost Pro, wire adapter, one whole set. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a FaceTime open box review for you guys. And um, we'll see what it's all about. Okay. So my car is covered, obviously. I don't drive my car during the winter time. Well, I, if it's dry and it's cool and nothing's bad out of the road, like ice and rain, all that, I'll drive my car. But other than that, I don't drive my car. It stays like that, it stays covered all the time. But when your car is parked and for quite a while, my car has been parked for three weeks, the battery is gonna start draining due to the alarm. And since I have custom headlights, the the auxiliary ports for the custom headlights to for RBG headlights. If you guys know, you guys have been watching my videos on Instagram. I have custom halo lights on my on my on my Z, and those over time will drain the battery as well as the car sits if you don't start it. And that's the reason why I bought this. Okay, I had this for quite some time now, and uh, this works perfect. I highly recommend them. I had don't start my car five times that thing's still holding battery that thing is still going that's why i'm doing a program for you guys but let's go on dial down close and uh tell you what it's all about you guys in a bit all right guys we're back okay so this is a close-up we're outside we're not inside the house it's cold outside i'm trying to do the review as fast as i can hannah's inside she's sleeping she's been watching the dogs because we have puppies so she's been taking care of them feeding me every two hours for um uh one and a half weeks already going on this is our second week so she sleeps for an hour or two and she wakes up and take care of dogs i try to do it when i'm off but days that i'm not off i need my sleep so i can go to work anyhow that's why we're outside doing the review so we got the noco x xgc 50 watt power adapter okay we got the noco pro boost protective case We also got the NOCO Boost Pro GB150, 89WH, lithium battery, jump starter kit, okay? Obviously, I opened it. I told you guys before, I've been having this sometimes acquire. I have to, I've been having this product for quite some time. I just wanna make sure everything is good, works the way it's supposed to. If it's a good product, I wanna bring it to you guys' attention. So if you guys need one for your car, your truck, your pickup truck, whatever the case may be, it's beneficial for you guys, okay? So I'm gonna open the main, main thing first. Okay, so we got the Ultra Safe Jump Starter Kit right here. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay, come on, let me get that chip box. There we go. Okay, so we got a nine point liter to seven point liter gas and diesel engine. That's how much this thing will chart, uh, will jump start your car or pickup truck or your diesel trucks. Highly recommend it. Like I said, I jumped this thing five times. I still haven't charged it yet. 
I charged it when I first got it, but since the day I charged it fully, I jumped my star, I jumped start my car five times already. Due to why I don't hardly drive my car. And this thing here is still, I haven't charged it since then. So I put it back in the box. I'm gonna do an open box review for you guys. So that way you guys know what's up. This is a very good product. Okay, on the side here, got Noco, 10 times LED. Um, over here is in English. These two are different language. And let's see, 12 volt, 12 volt uh, Star Life, uh, 4 plus 10. Man, never mind. There's a whole bunch of different language. I, I was trying to read them. Anyhow, this is the back side, okay? This is the other side. One year warranty, okay? Bottom, top, okay? Let's open it up. There we go. Good presentation, okay? Serial number, all that good stuff, okay? So this kit here, Comes with a 12 volt male plug-in, a 12 volt female plug-in plug out, uh, 24 inches, um, 12 volt XGC. You got a 40 inch, yeah, two columns, yeah, 40 inch, uh, one millimeter USB micro USB. Okay, that's what it comes with. Front, well, no, that's the back. Side, this is the front. Okay, open it up. Back protective, styrofoam, and bam. Okay, so this is the main big boy right here. So when you open this up, you get this protective case. You get obviously it's not down the bottom. You get your instruction manual book right here. I'm not going through all that. Okay, that thing in there. You get a bag. Okay, you get a nice little bag. There's no code, okay? It says 1914. That's when the cup has been out for. So inside the bag, you got this cable here. So we got a micro USB to USB, okay? You got another something in the bag. Okay, plugs, okay? And then your USB, okay? This opens out, plug to USB, if not, use this, okay? Use this to plug in here, and then hook it up to your, your unit, okay? Put it back in the bag, for now, wrap it up, worry about it a little later, right there. Okay, so I jumped this car, I jumped my car, my Nissan 370Z, five times. It still hasn't been charged. There's a power indicator here. There's also a light function right here, okay? The battery die? Yeah, no, I still got battery. So I turn it on, I turn it on, and turn it off. Turn it on, it tells you how much power you have left. So 12 volt, 3000A, okay? So it turns on, okay? Here's your light, okay? You wanna do it at night, jumps on your car at night. You got your positive, your negative cable here, Oh, let me turn this off. Over here, we got your in and out in for 12, uh, 12 volt USB. Okay, that's what it looks like. So a micro USB and then another plug for it. Over here, we got your out USB and also 12, uh, 12 volt as well. And that's what it looks like. Okay. On the bottom, Neko, uh, uh, Noco Genius, okay. Obviously, it's being China, caution, you know, the specs for it, okay? Really good thing, okay? Now, I tried my car five times with this damn unit, okay? Look how much, let me turn back on. Look how much power it has left. That's a lot of power. Still got a lot of power. And I charged my car five times. I charged it full battery, and then I let it sip a little bit, and then when I need to uh, jump start my car, I jump start my car five times. Since then, I still haven't charged, uh, charged this unit yet, and look how much power it has left. Thumbs up, man. I highly recommend this unit, okay? So, that's what it comes with. I'll put this on the side. Now, the other accessories are not included. You have to buy them separately, okay? 
you have to buy them separately. They don't come together, okay? Um, over here, we got your 56 watt power adapter, XGC4. Okay, this is extra, this is not included. I bought this off of Amazon, by the way, okay? So, this is the, the way I had it. I had hooked this up and charged it, okay? Going in, charge in, goes into the battery, out, is going out from this unit. I hooked up to the, the plug, to the micro, micro USB to USB, and I, 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 that's how I've been charging it. <clears throat> okay, but I haven't tried this yet because I don't want to open so many box because I want to do a review for you guys. So when I bought this, I haven't opened it yet. So this is new to me. Okay, so right here we got one of XC, XGC out, type A in, type C in, type G in, type, is that an I or a one? It looks like a type I in, okay? Uh, so it comes with all that. You got your side right here, zero number as well. Nothing here, okay? Bottom, okay? This is the front. So I never opened this one, I'll open, only open this. I haven't opened this, I haven't opened this yet. So this is all new to me, but I've been using this. Okay, so we'll take this, oh wow, look at this. So this extra cable, okay? Here's your, probably you need to charge. That's cool. And then you got your, Whoa, what is that? <laughs> wow, that's new. I don't think you can plug that anywhere in America. <laughs> but uh, that's for our European. That's for European. The, this here is a totally different thing right here. I don't know what kind of plug is that. You guys tell me, man. <laughs> this is all part of the kit. So another part charge right here. Now this is what we use, okay? This is what we use here in America. <laughs> Okay, traditional, tra standard traditional, you plug it in right here, you plug it in. So I don't have to go through the micro USB to USB. I just plug this into the, inside to the, um, going in, okay, going in here. Oh, actually you do, wait, let me see. Yeah, so this plugs into this. This plugs into this. Okay, this goes to the wall. This here goes in the big one here so it charged faster when you hook up to the micro usb to usb and plug it to the wall to the uh, plug to the usb it takes time but this here charge a lot faster okay that's the reason why i bought it extra for it but I, like i said i didn't use this stuff here this is all brand new okay and then you got another european old japanese plug right here so it's universal i guess you where you can plug it in and use what you use to charge your your um, your thing well that's pretty convincing you know so that's pretty cool so you get all kind of wires to plug different different um places you know regardless if you're in australia japan wherever the case may be you're good you know that's cool they're doing something across the street i think they're uh, they're still working in the house across the street okay so that's what it looks like okay close it back up so this helps you charge your your unit faster, okay? I'm gonna plug this back in. Close that. Okay, put that inside. Now this is the Noco Bo uh, Boost Pro Protective Case, okay? This is also separate as well. It's not included, okay? It's separate. Okay. This, I'm gonna use it now. Sorry guys, I'm outside. So we got a nice protective case here. Okay. From Noco. I bought this, like I said, this here they don't sell as a bundle. They sell it individually. Okay. That's what it looks like. So we got a nice hard case here. Okay. We got your two zippers here. You got a handle in here to hold your handle. And um, accessories pockets fits gb1 150 boost pro okay uh made in china and this is what you can hold okay so you can charge different ways you can you know hook up to this to charge that's what that's what i was trying to tell you you can put off all these accessories inside okay so nice bottom part case let's open it up okay 
and we got a nice okay nice case here you got two pockets up here as well okay you can put your plugs in whatever whatnot like i'm gonna put all this stuff in here okay and then you'll get your case right here oh no other way bam there you go that's it look at that okay and all the accessories especially this one here this up here well you can leave in the bag and then uh, okay just roll it up for now four and a half and throw it in here so it fits see and it protects it okay no problem all this other stuff here i'm gonna be using the traditional that plug all these other plugs here okay you can put them inside here as well okay no problem still got room here on top put this here on top okay no problem plug here go on top because that's what we're using and there you have it okay close it up there you go okay so that's out of the way really good product okay i highly highly recommend this product i it's not fully charged i tr i jump start my car five times it's still whole battery man when i hooked it up it charged great like wonderful great i was like man that's a badass charger i gotta do a review on this so i want to share it to you guys so if you guys own a sports car if you guys own a pickup truck a 370z um a 1500 silverado an, an f-150 ford truck you know this bad boy here will definitely definitely charge jump start your car okay definitely charge now this is a jump start okay for maintaining battery power to your battery like if you want to do a trickle or if you want to just charge your battery okay there's another unit for this it's called the no code genius now this is also separate as well this is not included okay there's a battery charger and a maintainer so it's a trickler okay trickler separate from this okay it's not together you have to buy it individually and put it on the side Now, I bought this because, as you guys know, I've been parked in my car. My car's been parked for three weeks already. I haven't driven my car due to rain. I've been a lot of rain here in Houston. It's been, um, this weekend here, it's been really ice and cold. I'm, not, I'm, I'm supposed to work today, but I didn't work today due to icy roads and black ice. So, I'm still not driving my car due to bad weather. So, what about the battery? The battery's gonna eat out. If you let the battery drop so low, it's unhealthy for the battery. Okay, you want to keep the power mid-level or up higher. And that's why I bought this. So if you don't drive your car or truck very often, I highly recommend this. And if you if you want to drive your car right away and you can't charge your car or charge your battery at the moment, jump start the car with that other unit I just showed you, and you're good to go. Okay. So we got the battery charger maintainer here, the six volts and 12 volts, 1A, um, no code genius, okay? This this is very similar to that unit over there, okay? This is the, uh, the side of it, that's what it looks like. This is the back side, okay? So you can hook up the other way to your, to, um, your, po your positive and negative terminals, okay? You can do it that way. And yeah, it's another piece of wire here that you can mount it onto the battery as well. So that way you don't have to worry about doing uh, hooking and unhooking all the time. Okay, I'm gonna use this today, that's for sure. Cause uh, I wanna, I have I have a power um, power outlet outside of my house and I can plug this in to use this today and leave it on there for the rest of the weekend to charge my battery. So open this box up. 
Man, I found it pretty good. What the hell? There it goes. So, this is what the unit looks like. Okay. Pretty small. Something crazy. Okay. That's what it looks like. Pull the sucker out. And there you go. You got your instruction menu here. Nothing in the box. And there we have it. Okay, so this plugs into the wall. Okay. You got your plug right here. Okay. This plugs into... Here we go. Right here. This plugs into this. I want to make sure I got the right size. Okay, so... Oh shit. There's one, one round, and one that's more like a a, a, a a hexagon shape. Okay, you see it? And then when you look on the other plug, it has a hexagon shape and a round one. So you make sure they're on the right side before you plug it in. Okay. Make sure it clicks in place to lock it, and there you have it. Okay. We got your ne negative, positive, plug into the wall. And let it charge pretty much simple okay i have a, a die hard um die hard uh charging thing i had that for years it works okay it's not all that great it's, and i paid like 199 dollars for that damn unit uh seven years ago it, it's basically a charger and a battery maintainer it's all right it's from die hard i bought it at sears um before sears went you know dead out and it don't work all that great, you know. When I charged my my um, my optical battery, it didn't do a very good job, especially when I set it at an AGM. Let me bring that out and let me show you guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. That's the one I'm talking about. Okay, this is from Die Hard. I bought it at Sears. Okay, I bought it at Sears. You hook up to the positive. You hook up to the negative. You plug this into the wall. Okay, and then you set it. It tells you how much watch power you have left in the battery. You set the the the, the, uh, the battery type, either a static battery, AGM battery, a gel battery. I said AGM because that's what I have. And then you got your display here. So this is when you hit your button to t display how much power it has. You display. It also shows you the power, how much power, um, wattage you're putting into the battery, either 12 volt or even 5 volt. Okay. And you got a rate selection here. So it's a charging maintaining battery, a uh, 40 and 15A boost, and 125A engine start. These two, these three here, not all that great. I had, this one time I had, had this unit hooked up to my battery for a whole week. And I know that next week I'm going to drive my car. I let this on my car for a whole week charging my battery. And then I put... Uh, I try to stop my car. It didn't want to start. And then when I hit the um, when I hit the the engine start section, that uh, would help me jump start my car. It didn't do a very good job either. And then I let this on there for another week, and then um, it almost turned over my car, but it didn't turn over my car. And you know, it was like eh. And then battery's still good. It's only like three year old you know two uh, two and a half year old battery almost two uh, about almost three but it's about two two and a half year old battery on an optimal battery and it did what it did you know but like i said it could be also the battery too if the battery is getting too old it, that can also cause an issue too but even though when i had um like i said i bought this seven years ago even though when i had another optimal battery before before that ba that battery happened to to this that didn't want to jump up my car or, or start my car or even charge for one week i had another battery and it did not do well in this i had a left it on the maintainer for the whole week and it didn't do it it didn't turn on my car when i had it for maintainer on for the second week it still didn't turn on my car and I, i'm also thinking it's the battery too not just it's this unit here this unit here is all right it's not all the best okay but poorly decent it's not even average okay this thing here is not even average okay so and this is expensive i bought it for like 150 199 dollars for this unit but like i said i had it for seven years okay so give and take yeah you pay for what you get so now i bought this will help me maintain my battery and if 
I know this was gonna work very, very well. But just in case, if this doesn't do, doesn't do it, and I need to use my car today, right now, even though I haven't driven my car for three weeks, I can always have my jump starter, okay? My jump starter and start my car and go, okay? So, so if I'm not driving for the whole week, I'm not driving my car this weekend because the weather's bad. So I'll have it charged on the whole weekend. But let's say if I want to use my car right now and my car don't want to start, bust out this bad boy here, okay? Start it up and you're good to go, okay? So, we're gonna hook this bad boy up today, right now, okay? And before I let you guys go and do all that, I wanna bring you another product review, okay? So this one here, I bought this. This is a solar charger, 300 milliamp battery, wireless portable power bank, waterproof IP66, wireless charging, long life battery, LED flashlight by Ike, uh, uh, what, Lit, Lit or, Orni, Lit Orni, I don't know, I never heard his brand. I saw a lot of good reviews on it, like I, I, over a thousand reviews, so I decided to buy one. So you just never know, you know? And it's solar charged too, you can hook it to the wall or solar charge. So I bought one to try. So this one here is also wireless charging too for your phone. And now that I got an iPhone 13 now, this will charge it on the go as well. And I do know they do make other stuff too for our phones, wireless charging as well. But I wanna give, I try a different brand that's out of the box, out of, that's not related to Apple. Okay, so we got a solar charger here, front, this is the back, okay. So it tells you, okay, if you guys can see, uh, 3,000 milliamp solar charger, high capacity solar charger bank with 35, uh, 3,000 milliamp large capacity, built-in lightning cable, micro cable, and type C cable, uh, three cables for all mobile phone directly. This cable is free uh, portable charging power bank with wireless output supports. You do not need to take a uh, charging cable, okay? Six output and wireless and charging, the portable charging power bank equips it with micro USB and type C input ports and five volt and 30 with three A USB quick charge and type C out, uh, output port. It also has wireless charger, charger with supports charging six device simultaneously. So you can charge six units, six phones at the same time. That's pretty impressive. <clears throat> And quick charge port provides fast char uh, fast power support for your devices. Dual multifunction flashlight, built-in 1.8 watts flashlight spotlight with strong SOS flash, uh, flash mode um, leads you through darkness and emergency as a lifesaver. Three lightning modes, strong light, strobe, and SOS are, are awesome for outside activities such as camping, hiking, and traveling. Uh, durable, sturdy design. The solar uh, battery power is made of premium ABS and PC silicone material. Equips with solar panel, which is handy tool for camping, cycling, fishing, and traveling, hiking, and beaches. IP66 waterproof, dustproof, and shockproof is suitable for various harsh environments or any conditions. Okay, for any urgent matter, please contact with the email there. Leave your order number and the questions you have. We we'll reply with you in twelve hours. Okay. Open it up. Obviously, I bought an Amazon, so we got a Amazon gift card here to redeem gift card. Check the section in the back. Oh, I'll worry about that later. I put my pocket. I didn't even know that was in there. <laughs> okay, over here we got twenty-four hour support live chat. Thanks for choosing uh, like Lycrom. If that's how you pronounce it. We provide you 24-hour professional uh, service center, 24 manufacturer technical support, and 30-day money-back service. Ensure long-lasting environment of your purchase. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Okay, so there's a barcode for that. So, oh, what the hell is this? Oh, they got like a... Is it working? Or is it dead? <laughs> I'm trying to spin it. Oh yeah, it is working. See it? There it goes. I mean, kind of. I mean, you guys gotta level it out to play with it. So you gotta. 
spin it a certain way it's kind of poor design because that thing ain't working for what the crap <laughs> this thing ain't working for the crap man look like this one spin all the way and i was like that's all i was like what the hell is that <laughs> all right wait what the hell this over here we got a micro usb to usb okay and the unit itself and here it's just plastic there's no styrofoam no soft material it's just plastic okay the unit here and here we go wow okay so we got a solar panel here your lights are here this side here is like a rubber silicone button uh, material here the top here we got usbs okay so we got a usb usb okay if you guys can see make sure the camera okay okay usb micro usb and usb c okay and you got a cover here to seal it could it say it is waterproof so make sure it's sealed up you got your wires right here that's pretty nifty so you got your lightning cable okay and a uh, micro uh, 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 USB-C and a micro USB so you got three plugs here sticking out of here that way you can charge like I said you can charge six devices at one time so an iPhone an Android phone and whatever you got right here to charge okay that's pretty that's pretty neat put it back and this is brand new out of the box I haven't charged it yet I even cut up the wrapper so you guys saw that and uh yeah okay so right now power button right here so now when you turn the power on you got your power indicator here so four bars so it has three bars now so it has some power power into it but if I were to take it out and put it in the sun let me turn it off first that's how you turn it off push and hold oh shit look at that I push and hold the light came out okay and have I pushed the power button like one more time so you got your strobe light right there I push it one more time that's your SOS light right there your SOS light push it one more time it's off okay so you just push it and come out the light push and hold yeah you gotta push and hold it for three seconds light comes on push it one more time Stro uh, strobe light push it one more time SOS okay so tells you the red indicator there so how you turn it off or it doesn't it just does it by itself I guess I'm guessing so right here there's a phone thing right here too Let's find out. So there's my iPhone right here. Okay. You gonna charge my iPhone or what? What's up? Hmm. Why is it charging five watt? It's like a, a MagSafe right here. I'm seeing him trying to. Am I doing it right? I'm not too sure. Is the power on? It shows no power. Let me see. That's funny. I, this is new to me. Like I said, I, this is all new to me. I don't know if it's going to charge my phone or not. Oh, there it is. Okay. There it goes. It's charging my phone right now. Ah, okay, cool. Now it works. So you got to hit the button one time right here. To have the indicator on, not the flashlight, okay? To the indicator on. Put your phone on. I guess you gotta do it while it's on there. I'm guessing. So you put it here and hit the button one time. There it goes. So when the light turns green, you charge your phone. Okay. That's cool. So when the phone's away, it's not green anymore. It's red. But I put the phone there. If it's green, it's charging the phone. Look at that. Okay. Now, it's red now, and I think it automatically turns off by itself. But, uh, indicators here. This right here, I believe that's your sun, uh, sunlight indicator. So, when it turns green, that means it's charging. So, I'm guessing the, there's some light to the solar panel here, and it's charging it. Okay. That's pretty neat. 
So if you guys want to try one, I'll add the link to the very bottom of the video. Um, I'll add the link to the bottom of the video of this and this as well. Okay, for the trickle, for the trickle charger, this has twenty six thousand reviews on Amazon. That's the reason why I bought this. But this is a separate purchase. It's not included. Okay, in the, in the bundle. And then I'll also add the link to that unit as well. Okay, so if you decide to buy that, that or that. Okay, this one here or this one here or this one here. I'll add the very links to the bottom of the video. Okay. All right, guys, we're back. I don't know what's wrong with my GoPro, but there's something wrong with my GoPro. It didn't catch the footage when I was doing the recording, and then when I get out of the video, it wasn't there when I when I pulled out and check it out. Anyhow, I gotta redo it again. Anyhow, to connect to that char uh, maintain charger and the uh, maintain charger or trickler charger, you need a, 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 an outlet on the outside of the house. So this is the outside of the house. This is the power wire hooks up to this extension. This extension goes out goes all the way up to my car so now it's hooked up to my car <clears throat> okay so the trickler the maintain trickler my stupid gopro didn't get the video is down here okay hold on a second let me pull the cover back off again show you guys the right way uh, hold on guys one second one second i don't know why my gopro didn't catch that footage this pisses me off Now we get the cover back off again. Okay. <clears throat> Pop the hood. Okay. Now, I'm going to go over and record this one. Shoot. Okay, so now I'll hook up the, the maintain charger. So you can see the negative, the positive. Okay, you hook it up to the wire. You hook up to the, this extension here, and it have a clip here that will lock into place. You pull all the way down and then it plugs into here to the trickler okay now i want to show you this little feature here on this trickler here so this is the trickler system so now it's charging right now see how it's pulsing when it's pulsing like that it's charging the battery okay it's charging to that battery right there okay so when you plug it in this is what it looks like okay so it tells you there's power to the trickler system okay when you hit the button one time that's the standard regular normal battery the next one if you look closely it says agm battery you hit again that is a lithium lithium battery okay so i have an agm battery right there and you leave it like that and let it do its thing see so it start pulsing like that i mean it's charging pulsely it's like it's, it's maintaining the battery it's keeping it charged okay it's maintaining the battery so it's hooked up to that okay so one thing i like about this is that since it's wired up like this i can still cover my car while it's charging because i like to cover my car while it's charging <clears throat> so i'm gonna have it all the way down here okay just like that okay see the trick was down there i put it down there to hide it away but i want to keep my car covered while it's it's um while it's charging because I haven't drove my car in three weeks and I don't want the battery to die on me. So now I want to put the cover back on my car. <clears throat> Go for it, you better record this. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this that foot. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it on the Not all the way shut, it's enough. I'm gonna cover my car while it's charging the car. I always cover my car. I don't leave it uncovered. I'm not driving it or I'm using it. So now, <clears throat> my car is charging. The battery's charging. You see the trickler down there? Okay, you see it's a red? It's pulsing slowly. It's hooked up to the extension to the wall. So you need an outlet to the outside of your house so that way you can use that trickler system or the maintain charger or trickle system to charge your battery on the outside of the car, okay? Uh, outside of the house, I mean. So I like to have my car covered. I'm not using it. I'm not driving in the rain. Winter time when it's iced out like right now, I'm not gonna drive my car. But the thing is that 
when you don't drive your car three weeks or a month usually the battery dies start dying down i do have custom headlights on my car and they have a auxiliary port to those custom headlights for rbgs because they change color that's straining up the battery the alarm in the car also changes the battery too when your alarm is on so if you want to drive in a while you need to maintain the charge of the car battery that's why i bought that trickle system but you have it hooked up to the wall route it up to the trickle system and hooked up to the battery so then charge and just do its thing all right guys sorry for those missing those those uh, clips so i had to redo this clip right now to that way you guys get the information and the knowledge of how the system works okay pretty simple not hard it's not rocket science it's not hard or rocket science all right peace